Hi, I'm Melanie Geralds for Bass City Beat. It may be surprising for many of us to know just how many chemical spills occur in the waterways that supply our drinking water. This contamination can cause many health hazards, so our counties are working on a project to help safeguard our drinking water. The project was initiated uh, uh, as a result of spills that have been occurring out on the St. Clair River. Uh, a large amount of those spills came from the petrochemical industries up in Sarnia. Uh, there were a lot of toxic chemicals that were dumped in the river and uh, the water plants wanted to monitor to make sure those toxic chemicals weren't being taken in by the water plants. The project has already begun. Uh, there's four treatment plants that are already set up and monitoring the water and uh, the, we have a contractor that's moving from plant to plant starting the equipment as they go along. A wide variety of equipment will be installed for this project. Some of this equipment will include multi-parameter probes, fluorometers, TOC analyzers, as well as very sophisticated battlefield equipment that can detect many toxic chemicals. It entails uh, installing monitoring equipment, such as you see in the background here, on the uh, intakes of all the water plants along the St. Clair River, Lake St. Clair, the Detroit River and uh, now Lake Erie. This is the box that will take all the signals from the instruments and send it to the website. So all the data that's collected continuously will be going to a website and all the treatment plants will be able to see how, how good the water is all up and down the lake and river system. Uh, the majority of the pollutants that we'll be monitoring for will be petrochemical uh, industry type chemicals such as the compounds you'd find in gasoline. There's a total of 15 water plant intakes uh, from Port Huron all the way down to Monroe uh, that will be participating in the, in the project. You can click on the intake for the specific uh, water plant. This one's Port Huron. It's, right now it's given us some parameters like temperature and pH of the water that's coming in the plant. If there was any uh, spills, you might notice some high, high numbers here. Same thing with Marysville. If we detect a chemical that may have been spilled, we can shut the plant down and the, uh, the chemical will move on down the river and be prevented from being sucked into the drinking water system. If uh, some high pollutant comes in, it's going to set off an alarm and the screen will be flashing and you'll see which plant has received an alarm and what the pollutant they're measuring is. And that will alert all the plants that something's been spilled in, in the lake or river they should start monitoring real closely. The cost of the project is two and a half million dollars, but federal appropriation from Congress has been provided, as well as a quarter of a million dollars in emergency management grants. The Mount Clemens Water Plant would like to thank all of the people who helped put the project together, including the state DEQ for helping with the emergency management grants, and Congressman Candace Miller for getting the congressional money for the project. The community will be protected from the chemicals and I think the overall quality of the water and the rivers and lakes will be protected because if the industries know we're monitoring, I think they'll stop dumping the chemicals. During my visit to the water treatment plant, I had the opportunity to taste Mount Clemens' great water. But it's good to know that on top of this great taste, we can now be sure that top-of-the-line equipment is keeping harmful chemicals out of our drinking water. For Bass City Beat, I'm Melanie Geralds.